Come back, we're going to have a Tech Tuesday for you, and it's concerning my iPad and the Apple Pencil too. This is Patrick Midtown Outdoors. Before we get into this video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. There's still a bunch of you that watch the channel that are not subscribed, and we'd sure like to hit that 2,000 mark this year. So come on, hit that button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you'll know when Midtown Outdoors posts another video. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. So. I have an iPad Air 5. Um, this is the latest version. I've had it for got the first of the year, I think, this year. Yeah. Something like that. Um, mainly to run Gaia on and do some other things with it. But as I've been messing with it, CJ got a Apple Pencil 2, like this. And so I started thinking about the ideas of what I could do with an Apple Pencil too. So I want to give a big shout out to Plug. Plug is who I purchased my Apple Pencil 2 from. Now, I paid the $59 for the middle grade pencil, and I will say there's supposed to be a scratch or a blemish or something on it. She looks good as new. So... I highly recommend you checking them out if you're into Apple products, but don't want to spend the expensive Apple product price. Um, they have everything from the pencils, to the AirPods, to the MacBooks, to the iPads, like this one. Now this one I got another, direct, another way. Uh, this one's actually through my phone company because this one does have um, a nut, well, not a number, but it is an air, so that means it has cell service. So, what I like is I can take and write down notes on the fly with my iPad, for instance, video ideas, which I did right here. Do a video on how my iPad case will not let me connect to my pencil. That's right. So I got this nice case. It's actually, it was, I got it, on, got it at Amazon. It's a good thick case. It has the, you know, protected corners, that stuff. So the first pencil I got, I thought was bad out of the box. Used pencil. Thought maybe there was something wrong with it. Contacted plug. Plug you know, told me to go through all these steps, went through all these steps, <coughs> went through a bunch of steps with Apple. Apple says, I don't know why your pencil won't connect. So I don't either. So plug sent me out a new pencil just in case it was the pencil and I sent the other one back. I didn't have to pay for shipping on any of this. So keep that in mind. Their shipping Free shipping on all their stuff, continental United States. Um, and the only reason why I'm really shouting them out because I feel like the other pencil was probably good. And I will show you why. So, normally when you would put the pencil onto the iPad, it will do this. As soon as I do this, I'm trying to get this where you can see it. Boom, right there, you saw it connect. So now the pencil's charging. That means it's connected. And what's going on, for some reason, this case is too thick for the pencil to connect to the iPad like it should. Now my daughter has a different style case and she has absolutely no trouble with her pencil connecting to her iPad. Now, when I go to put this back on my iPad, I got the case back on it, because I don't like standing around the concrete with a case off of it. When I go to put it back on there, 
it will not connect to this iPad. So if you're having trouble connecting your, I, your pencil to your iPad, there might be a chance it's the case, not the pencil, not the iPad. Check that out before you go losing your stuff like I did. I mean, I, I'm one of those that can me will mess with tech until I figure it out. And I kept thinking, what is wrong with this thing? Why will it not connect? And then I saw a video of a guy wrapping a wire around it to connect his pencil. And I was like, wait a minute. I know what that's doing. It's increasing actually the antenna, not just the magnet that's in here and in here to attract to one another because that's how they charge is through magnets. But it's also increasing the antenna. So I decided then, I said, let's pop the case off the iPad and see what happens. The moment I took the case off and stuck the pencil on, it recognized the pencil. So if you're an iPad user or Apple user like me, and you get an Apple iPad fifth generation, I, I can't remember if it'll work on the fourth generation. If it will, I will put a yes right now or no. But, and you try to do the magnet charging on the iPad and you have a case and it won't recognize or anything, take the case off first. Try that. Nowhere has anybody suggested that to me at all, is try taking the case off first. I wished I had thought of that the first pencil, because truth be known, it's probably good. But anyways, guys, that's just, that's it for this one. Um, I did search YouTube quite extensively, extensively about this and found that one video and that's it. So I'm telling you, if you have an iPad and an iPad and an Apple pencil and they're not connecting, when you put it on it just like this, chances are the case is too thick and that's why it's not connecting. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching this Tech Tuesday. We'll see you on the next one. Hopefully we'll be outside. Be prepared.